All right, we can start now. Just leave this up, make sure it fucking works. Set us off. All righty, welcome back to the Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today it is someday, it looks like it's Monday, October 30th, Halloween Eve. Such a spooky, spooky day. Yeah, two days before All Souls Day. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Uh, just a big Catholic, uh, feast. Oh, very nice. That sounds like a good time. Yeah, what are you doing for All Souls Day? I don't have much, pl- I don't have much planned for All Souls Day. Did you get any trick-or-treaters at your apartment in this neighborhood? No, I never even thought about that, but I, there's a chance I could. Yeah. There's a lot of kids. Yeah? I'm always looking at them from this big-ass window of mine. Oh, look, there's someone dressed up. Is tonight the night? Sometimes they do it on a different night. In our building, they did it like a night early last night. Yeah, a lot, they like to do it. A lot of the parents, I think, like the they like to go up before us so that on actual Halloween, they can get fucked up. I thought it was because of the naughty mischief that goes around, the rampant murder that always happens on Halloween. It is a night of murder and a night of chaos. I will say there's an episode of Louie where he gets like pulled up on. Have you ever seen that? Uh-uh. When he's trick-or-treating with his, his daughters. And they, they get pulled up on and by, like, a bunch of, like, goons and goblins. <laughs> and he, like, gets, like, horrified because, like, they're not letting them go. And they're, like, gonna, he thinks, that, like, it's it's scary. It is. Dude, Either you city, watch a, a horror movie or you wind up in a horror movie. Exactly. In the city, you have really you don't really know what's going to go down. That's why it's almost better to be proactive about it and turn it into a horror movie for someone else. Oh, 100%. Torture the fuck out of a stranger. Yeah. I just watched that. Uh, have you ever seen Trick R Treat? Uh-uh. You haven't? What's it rated? I don't know, probably are, but it's it's like a parody, I think, on Halloween movies, but it's 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 pretty funny. I I I was I went into it like thinking it was going to be scary, and then I was like, oh, this is just a complete like joke of a movie, and it's like it's it's pretty funny. I used to only watch parody movies because it was guaranteed that there would be boobs in them. Oh yeah, there's but, titties in this one. <laughs> there always is titties, titties in, in, one. in yeah. parody movies. Yeah, because there's these like hot ass girls, and they all turn out to be uh, werewolves, and they start ripping their skin off, <laughs> and they rip their titties off. It's hilarious. <laughs> their titties clean. Yeah, <laughs> Go on. I was hooting and hollering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like uh, Euro Trip was a parody. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Road Trip, not another team movie. All the screen movies. Screen movies. Uh, like how... Airplane. All those movies oh, had yeah. titties in them. Yeah. Almost what ex- was the scary movie? Scary movie. Scary movie always had titties in them. I actually just saw that one scene on Twitter today. There's titties in it. There's the one where like the girl's getting chased and the and the scream dude like rips her clothes off. And yeah. She like runs through the sprinklers. <laughs> I don't know why they always sprinkle that into a parody, I don't but know. It, a parody and a pair of D's, my brother. <laughs> you fucking gotta enjoy that shit. True that. Nothing better than a pair of freaking D's. A pair of huge ass fucking perfect cloudy D's. Perfect titties. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, Sunny D's. <laughs> uh, my my uh, building did uh, trick or treating last night. Yeah, what'd but, you uh, give out? So we ran out of like the chocolates that we had, and my wife started giving out Tootsie Roll pops. I wasn't there, but I was on the phone with her. I was like, "Shut down shop! No one wants to get fucking Tootsie Roll pops. That's a disrespectful ass, shitty fucking." Really? You would be happy with a Tootsie Roll pop? I would be happy with a Tootsie Roll pop. I guess but I'm also, I, I don't eat hard candy the way that you're supposed to eat it. You just crunch I into crunch it? I crunch it down at once. And, and Tootsie Roll Pops are one of the most satisfying ones to crunch down on. Tootsie Roll Pops are a long ass fucking like trip to a, jur- a destination that has n- nothing going on for it. The Tootsie Roll at the center of that is not a good snack, dude. That's yeah. a shitty snack. Yeah, well, because no one wants gum in the middle of their lollipop. And it's not like good gum. Either. No, you're it's... thinking of a blow pop. I'm talking of a Tootsie Roll pop. Blow pops are better than Tootsie Roll pops. Tootsie are you rolls sure Tootsie Roll pops don't? Oh, no, Tootsie Roll pops are better. No, they just have Tootsie Roll in the middle. That shit sucks. That's what it is? Yeah, there's just oh, okay. a Tootsie Roll. That makes me feel better because I used to always swallow it and I thought it was gum. Oh, really? Yeah. Blow pops I thought were fun and no, blow imaginative. Pops no one wants to fucking have to chew a piece of gum after they just work through a lollipop. It's I think crazy. it's a treat it's a to workout. get to the gum. I think you get to the gum and you're like, ooh, this is a little fucking snack. Like I can enjoy myself for like a half hour now on this gum that will immediately lose flavor. True. Or like chew on the fucking stick like it's a cigarette, pretend yeah. to blow a little O. It's that is cold fun. outside. Yeah. That's the dream. So Eddie, what do you think? What are you gonna give that one? <laughs> All right, Sass, who won this draft? <laughs> Team one, two, three, four, five. And give a better reason. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's like, so easy to fall into the trap of just fucking... Ranking? Just ranking foods. It's easy as hell. Ranking foods, ranking... I mean, just... Or drafts, ranks, who could win 
this thing or that thing in a fight. In some ways, that's what Joe Rogan's empire was built on. That is true. A lot of debates. So who would win in a fight, Sass? The the uh, thousand cockroaches you have or the 500 mice you have? Have you seen the traps? <laughs> this house it's is the trap. <laughs> Hold on, I want to double check and make sure it's good. Like there's... It, the Oh, it's clean as hell. Yeah. I just had to double check because now we're talking at normal volume. Sometimes it's easy to do the check and we're like, one, two, three, four. Sexy voice. And then voice. we get into full conversation and it's like, Arr! Yeah, make sure you're on camera though. Don't scooch too far away. But yeah, if people couldn't tell, we're recording this from your apartment. Yes, Barstool has failed us. <laughs> <laughs> No, they haven't. There's just a lot of technical difficulties, and we're in the we're in the works of getting a new studio. But until then, I'm gonna. Well, I'm not taking over, but I'm just gonna do. I I just decided to do this one because I wanted to have good audio. Because I'm a. Because people are getting mad, and we're like, get mad at us. At least let it be on us. Yeah, exactly. We it got to a point where it's like everybody else is in control of it, and it's like okay. If we fail on this one, that's 100% on us. Yeah. And if we succeed, we expect to be paraded through the streets on people's shoulders oh, like yeah. fucking Rudy. 100%. If we succeed, we want to be like Jesus walking into to fucking Palm Sunday with people fucking falling at our feet. Uh, dude, if people saw the setup that we've got going right now, I mean, this is the camera right now is balancing on a box of <laughs> trash bags. <laughs> a box of trash bags on, on top of what's that other thing? Bed? Uh, bed I think sure it's sure connections? Bed, yeah, it's sheets. Um... And yeah. also, the every minute that we're live, another day of my laptop's lifespan goes down <laughs> because this thing is working. It's loud right now, dude. It's buzzing like an industrial air dude, conditioner. these things, I bet, oh yeah, 200 degrees. That's going to burn through the couch. Feel yeah. it. I swear to God, feel it. I, it smells like steak in here because it's sitting on the leather right now. It feels like you're cooking a medium rare porterhouse right now, but it's good. That's what you have to do to get this shit going yourself. It is. When you first got sound going, I felt like... Well, the, the, it was defeating because I did it. So I did a test on Friday with the sound and it was like crystal clear. Hopefully like what this is going to sound like. And uh, this is live right now. We're just doing a ghost live stream to make sure it sounds good when it. I felt like a deaf done. child hearing his mother's voice oh, for dude, the first I time. I blacked out. <laughs> oh, out of celebration? A out of celebration. I went to the stand and I was just like telling everyone and they were like, dude, we do not care at all. <laughs> I went up to the bouncer at the stand and I was like, dude, so like the audio, I finally got it to work. It's been like such a work in progress. All I had to do was just go to Best Buy and grab a couple like things. Like leaning up on the yeah. side of the yeah, bar? They were like, dude, no one cares. Did you at least find the sound guy to talk to him about it? No, dude. Uh, Joe sound who, guys never had no not even Joe but I'm talking about the actual sound guy for the venue oh no there really isn't one. Oh, there's not I mean there's everything's probably already set up but Joe if it was one it would be Joe I think Joe does the stand the sound there but I told him at uh I went to a Halloween party on Saturday and he was there and I was just three in the morning I'm just like and yeah I mean all I really <laughs> needed to get was the cam link and the zoom recorder and it was pretty it was just as soon as that it was good yeah, it's good to weaponize a little bit of your autism and oh, yeah. <laughs> get you purring in the right direction. It feels direction. good, dude. When you fix something like that, it feels like you just completed like a Lego set. <laughs> yeah, it's a manly sense of accomplishment. That it shit is. is embedded in our DNA for sure. It's a great feeling. It's like you would, it's the same type of feeling that they must have got when they're like slapping Adobe on a hut or like catching a fish or killing 100%. a fucking bison or some shit. You basically killed a bison by doing this. Yeah. You basically are feeding us for, for weeks. And the other tribe couldn't kill the bison. <laughs> you know what I mean? 100%. Dude, You're I'm like right wearing the you. bison jacket, like beating your chest in the fucking wilderness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it living. feels damn good. It feels good as hell. So uh, yeah, we apologize for the fucking uh, blank ass background. What some are people are about? definitely going to prefer this, I bet. It's it's nasty. It's grimy. Like we're really, it really looks like we're in the trap. And I cannot stress the amount of insect repellent, roach killer. Oh yeah. Like there's shelves of it. Like a BJ. It's like a Sam's Club. There's yeah. industrial stocked up. There's more like per capita liquid ounces of that than anything else in here. Even the Michelob Ultras and the the Bud Lights over there. Yeah, I had a night on Saturday or Friday. <laughs> That's those are from Friday. Yeah, well, after I got after I did my spots, I was done by nine thirty. So I went home and I played video games with my buddy Matt until like four in the morning, and we just got hammered. That's so. Fucking and then sick. I woke up like really hungover, which sucked because I was like, dude, that was a night that I was like, I'm I'm gonna go home and not stay out, and then I still got hammered and ended up feeling worse than I usually do when I go out. But that is an awesome Friday night. It was. It was very fun. We cut a dub on Apex. Did you? First game on. 
The, you basically you are the fucking primal. Oh yeah, big time. Killing the buffalo, getting your wind, like fucking dancing by the fire at night. 100%. You also you have a bundle of firewood up there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. That was there when I got here. I think it's like for show. I think it's like you put it in. The, I don't know. The dude who lived here before had a much different setup than I've got. Did he? <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> It's the unmistakable <laughs> smell of like the inside of a hoodie <laughs> when you walk in here. It's but I really, went nose blind to it already. Yeah, it's not a. It's not great. It, it's pretty messy. I actually, it was way worse before. I just took all the clothes and just threw them on my bed. So there's just a mountain of clothes on my bed, except That's for that the way pile. To do it. There's just piles everywhere. All I've, all I've got is just piles. You got to be the Stevie Wonder of nose blindness. Yeah, hundred percent. No, it, it are it, your other senses getting stronger because you're so nose blind? No, there's a <laughs> smell that comes from the fridge. And it's been there since I got here. And when the exterminator came, he said that it was there was a dead mouse behind the fridge. And he pulled the fridge out, couldn't find anything. So then I put uh, baking soda in there on a plate because that's supposed to absorb the smell. It attracts the dead mice. Didn't do shit. And then I pulled the refrigerator out and I gassed it with fucking anti-rat spray. And that, again, didn't do, didn't do anything. <laughs> anti-rat spray? Yeah, it's a big thing. And I know we talked about this last time, but I forget. Is that a real fireplace? Like, could something come down? Is, is there a chimney? To, does it, Is there a flu? There's definitely something in there because there's like a t-shirt like stuffed up there. So probably, I'm assuming, re- stop mice from coming. But yeah, there really is. There's like, there's five mouse traps right here. There's one there. There's two there. And then there's one here too, just in there. And then there's two in there. One back there. Eat what you catch, bro. Yeah. So I haven't caught a single mouse, though. They're just, they're wise to your games. Yeah. I think the dude, he sealed up all these holes and I think they're just gone. I haven't had any problems. There's enough, uh, there's just enough for them to like kind of eat around. You know, they don't have to go digging. There's, there's True. enough Pringles uh, everywhere. <laughs> I would just treat myself to some Pringles. Yeah. There's usually not, there's like, I, I try and keep, it gets messy, but there's never like actual like food. Like I, I'll, I'll make food or I'll order food and I take it. And I throw it out in the hallway. I don't, I don't leave it. In my, I don't leave it in my apartment because I don't. You don't fuck with that shit. No, I can't do it. I can't have the fucking mice. It's like attracting bears. Because I also sleep on this couch a lot. Do you? Yeah, I slept here last night. Do you curl up or you go long ways? I go long way. Oh, as soon as I sat down, I and like stood back up. It was like a grilled cheese, dude. There was just cum fucking stuck to me. <laughs> I know you're beating off. No, I'm not beating off. On this. Can't beat off on here, dude. When the lights are on, we're in like a fish tank right now. If you walk by my apartment when you leave and the light is on, you can see me fully just in here <laughs> because there's no curtain and it's a big ass window and the lights are on and it's dark out. There's so it's a like curtain see, rod. There's a curtain rod, but the person who left must have taken the curtain. But I like to sleep in here sometimes, so I like to watch TV. I started, uh, what's it called? Um, Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers last night. And I, dude, I swear to God, if the audio fails again, I'm enlisting. <laughs> I'll, jo- I, I'll join up. Dude, I've you been, think I'm too old? <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're, F, you're F4. No, I'm not F4. <laughs> I don't, don't know, even fucking I don't even say know that. what that means. What does it mean? I have no idea either. <laughs> there was a, in the beginning of Band of Brothers, they were talking about how there was four dudes in their town that uh, were F, it was like FA or F4 or some shit like that, which I think it means you're not allowed to join up. Or you're not allowed to enlist, and they all killed themselves. No, uh-uh. yeah, because they everyone wanted to go to World War II so bad. World War II, dude, it's crazy that like you think of like like that Chris Kyle dude. They're like, dude, he had like a hundred confirmed kills. Those guys were getting a hundred confirmed kills every single a day. day. <laughs> there was, the, I saw. The, did you see that Finnish sniper that was just uh, making his rounds on social media? He no. he was making he was just like mowing people down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. And he didn't use a sight. Like yeah. he he was just he was afraid oh, yeah. of the they were all iron sights. Yeah, he was just like fucking looking off into the distance. And he lived until 2002. He got shot in his jaw. It was yeah. just hanging off. But he was like the most deadly sniper of all time. Yeah, it's crazy. These guys are fucking beasts. Those dudes don't like in the obviously I know the show is probably a little exaggerated. Maybe not though. I mean, it sounds like I the thing is I don't know a lot about World War II cuz all the war movies that I watch are I like to watch the modern ones, but Band of Brothers fucking sucked me in instantly. Did it? But I so the reason I never got into it was because Mook's been telling me to watch it forever. But the reason I never got into it originally is because they do these like interviews in the beginning. And I was like, oh, shit, it's a documentary. And I turned it off. Mm. And then I realized that those interviews are literally 30 seconds long. <laughs> and then it goes into the show. They just oh, start shit, off every episode. Oh, shit, there's credits of this movie at the <laughs> yeah. beginning? I'm not trying to yeah. fucking read. So the first time I watched it, I gave it 30 seconds and turned it off. So I must have not been in the mood for a documentary that day. Yeah. 
or to hear an old guy talking. Yeah, but it's fucking, it's a good ass show. Those old guys got stories to tell too. They do. Most of them just, they cry, which is understandable. I mean, it it was fucking crazy. It's all about them storming the beaches of Normandy. Hollywood must have been licking their chops too oh, because yeah. they could just cast all white guys. 100%. They could just cast all famous white yeah. guys with impunity. And a couple of white dudes who like looked Jewish, but <laughs> none of them were. <laughs> oh, so is there is there like... Are there soldiers who are Jewish or is it concentration camps? I have never watched the show. No, there's soldiers who are Jewish, but they're like not. Oh, really? It's like you look Jewish and they're like, I fucking hate you. (laughs) And then that's it. And then it's like, they're not even Jewish. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, I hate all this Jewish hate that's going on though, bro. Stop Jewish hate, man. We got to stop Asian hate. We got to put an end to it. No, no. Asian hate's back. Jewish hate. We have to stop. (laughs) Jewish hate is the one that we... Asian hate is back in full swing. Stronger than ever. Yeah. (laughs) Asian... It is fucking booming. It is crazy how, like, uh, when we record with Colm, he's just like, he'll be like, you filthy Jew. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, He'll, yeah. like, flame you, but now it's like there's actual anti-Semitism happening, oh, yeah, like, strongly time. in the world. They it's said like, it's oh, up. fuck. Hey, did you see that commercial yesterday? Uh-oh. That was probably, did you watch this, the late game last night? No. She was, was at the so show. bad. What? It just the the commercial? No, the, no, there was a commercial. The, the commercial was fine. It was the just commercial. The commercial fucking sucked. No, the commercial said that Jewish hate is up, like, 386%. <laughs> Which I don't know who who's keeping track of that. <laughs> yeah, Frank like the who's tank. like? Does someone say like, "Hey, go"? They go up to me and they're like, "I hate you." And then you like got a call's number and be like, <laughs> and "There's another one." <laughs> Report it. Yeah. If you experience Jewish hate, <laughs> make sure to call the hotline. Like I'm picturing someone keeping score, like an autist at a baseball oh, yeah. game, yeah, like Clemmer. Yeah, filling like, out their yeah. their box score. <laughs> Dude, that video of Frank yesterday was disturbing, mind blowing. <laughs> mind blowing. And the, the the edit that Quiggs made was like one of the funniest things I've I ever mean, seen. Didn't you see didn't that see that one? So what the video was, was a, it was like a full screen vertical video of Frank the Tank and like eight mascots. Yeah, it was and they like were, wide angle too. There was they, like a hundred mascots. They were filling every ounce of the screen. It, like it looked like a uh, like one of those claw pits and all the stuffed animals are there. Like it yeah. looked like a billion stuffed animals yeah. all jammed into the same frame. And they're feeding him cake. Like yogurt. Yeah, it was like ice cream <laughs> like cake or some yogurt. shit. Yeah, and they're feeding it to him and they're making out with him. It was, dude, it, it was, it, someone said it looked like a, one of those scenes from The Grinch, and it did. It truly did. It looked like one of the scenes from like the, when Jim Carrey was The Grinch. And, and then one of them kisses him on the mouth. Yeah. It's like uh, horror porn and he's just for the giggling. mid-90s. Yeah. It would, it would be like a Tim Burton type of movie or some shit like that. Just Frank and a bunch of mascots, a dissociative movie. Yeah. It, it was, was a, fucking hysterical. A crazy time. Damn, but I might get into, I should get into Band of Brothers, bro. I, I like a, it's little, good. a little war action. Yeah. And I texted Mook today and I was like, I finally started it. And he was like, dude, I'm jealous that you get to watch it for the first time. And then he was like, also, once you finish that, the Pacific is pretty much just the sequel to Band of Brothers. So I'm in now. Like now I got a fucking I got a show again. Yeah, it's such a good feeling yeah. to have a show and I've to have a show like that shit. without a fucking bitch in your ear being like, "This is scary." Dude, to be fully honest, I actually don't think there's been a single girl in the entire show. Yeah, I swear to God, I never thought about that until now. I'm like three episodes in, which is like three hours, and I don't think there's been a single because were women not allowed to serve in World War II? I don't think so. Well, I could serve fucking apple pie. Truth. True that. <laughs> <Could> serve fucking <laughs> a milkshake, but they weren't serving. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's been a single woman in the whole show. But there's a lot of pussies. <laughs> yeah. It's all dudes in here except for these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> one. One pot. Two pot. Three pot. Dude, that my, is one of my favorite lines. When my dad was uh, growing up, his best friend was named Michael Saunders. And I'm not sure what... Uh, what year it was or what war that they were in that my dad was probably dad was in the war no no he wasn't but they so my my uh this dude michael saunders he tried to enlist in the army yeah and they told him he couldn't enlist because he was too short oh yeah it's not surprising he's but like, how old was he or when was this because in world war ii i think if you had like no arms they'd be like yeah just get in there here's a gun son yeah yeah we need How's you that on defense work? yeah we need <laughs> you on defense to shield people <laughs> Yeah, dude. I mean, they literally like the whole the whole first episode is about them training this one group of uh, people. They're called uh, fuck. I forget what they're called. They're air. They're in like this airborne squad, which is the people that jump out of the plane. Are you talking about pilots, parachuters, paratroopers? Paratroopers, yeah. But they're the divi- Like it's like you got could, it. they got the option. Like, do you guys want to enlist in the the army, the navy, or airborne? Or the Air Force. And everyone was like, what the fuck is Airborne? And then like all of them ended up enlisting in Airborne. 
but uh the whole like first two episodes is like them like training and they're like they had like the most brutal training just like constantly running up this fucking mountain back and forth like every day and then like on d-day like all of them died <laughs> there's like five of them left now they're in incredible shape to yeah die. it's crazy dude they're all flying in and like out of nowhere all of a sudden all the planes are just getting shot down and now it's like 140 dollars to do that workout in los angeles <laughs> <laughs> The Normandy workout, <laughs> run up and down a hill 150 yeah. times, yeah. jump into the water, get shot in the chest. It's pretty crazy. That dude from fucking Friends is in it. Not the one that just died. The other one. Ross. Schwimmer. Schwimmer. David Schwimmer. Yeah, Schwimmer. So he's a real, he's Jewish. Yeah. In real life, right? Schwimmer. Schwimmer. I don't think he's Jewish in the show. Oh, no, he is. He is. That guy, that's, that's what the whole thing is about. Because they're all looks... mad and they're like, I'm not fucking going out there with that Jew. Or they call him a kraut. Is that a slur? Kraut is uh, German, though. Yeah, but I... Yeah, you can fuck. say it. You're allowed to say it. Is kraut a slur? Yeah, yeah, but it's like wop or guinea. Oh, okay. It's so like it's slurs not a real for... It's slur. like a mix. Yeah, it's, it's like slurs slur. for white people. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of ours. Yeah. It's kind of our little thing. True. We can say it any anytime we want. So kraut's German. It's not Jewish? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Who gives a fuck, then? You fucking dirty krauts. <laughs> yeah, fuck the krauts. <laughs> 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 well, not now. Now the the Krauts are leaders in engineering. Are Germans like still up to trouble? Because I remember seeing like a tweet <laughs> or some shit, and they were like, "There was a tweet a while ago, and it was like Jewish hate is at the." T- <laughs> Jewish hate's up seven hundred twenty percent. It was like it was like Jewish hate is the worst it's ever been in Germany, and everyone was <laughs> <laughs> everyone was like, "Are you sure about that? That just can't be true." What would be going on in Germany right now that could be worse than it was in the 1940s? Everybody's just not acting yeah. on it. They're I just don't know. like feeling the hatred and <laughs> yeah, just they're just boiling. Pissed. Yeah, <laughs> fist clenched, like fucking absolutely steamed about it. Yeah, can't be, can't be at all time highs. But I did see like disturbing videos of uh, people like looking for Jewish people or whatever. I don't know. You see, go on social media. There's a lot of like, yeah, I don't know. You see, I wish everyone would just get along. Is how I feel, dude. Me, you, and the fucking coach of Oregon. You <laughs> see his that? video? No, what did he say? It was about like the mass shooting, and he was like, "Can we just solve this?" <laughs> it was like, it was a good video, but then of course in the comments, everyone's like, "This fucking asshole." Not me though. I'm a Not big you. Fan. You were into it. I'm a big fan of him. My wife's mom visited this weekend. <sighs> the in-laws. <laughs> you know how that shit is. I know how that goes. She's uh, tapped in on Fox News for sure. Oh yeah. Um, or just the news, um, but she lives in um, Pennsylvania, rural Pennsylvania. Yeah, and so her perception of New York is like she's like, we're like when she came up on Friday, she was like, were there protests on like Thursday? Like what was going on yeah. with like the the protests? And I was like, yeah, I saw a couple, some pro Israel, some pro Palestine. She was like clearly concerned about it. They went to a Broadway. Talk, play. Make sure you're talking to the mic. They were they went to a Broadway play, and then like on the way back from the Broadway play. All the traffic in the city shut down, so they went and walked the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, and at that exact time, like a uh, like a pro Palestine uh, protest shut down the entire Brooklyn Bridge, and there were nine thousand people on the Brooklyn Bridge. What? And it was like every. Uh, How did I not even hear about this? I don't so know. The bridge she, was closed while she was on it. The bridge was closed. She was walking on like the footpath along the top, and there was no traffic and coming the entire other way. And so, like in her. Uh, in her like the, the the mind of like what could happen in New York was like exactly what was happening. That sucks, dude. <laughs> she was fucking bugging out. That is dude, get it locked on the Brooklyn. How long was she on the bridge for? I mean, she was walking the other way, so they couldn't drive across it in the traffic. But you could wa- still walk. You you could walk. Oh, okay, okay. I thought she was like they were like everyone staying on the fucking bridge. Yeah, that would be terrifying. <laughs> that would be horrifying. But it was it, even so it was scary because like everybody walked across and then like all the uh cops like came across yeah. uh, behind it. And I was like watching from Brooklyn as the entire bridge was shut down. Like they tried to drive up to it and they're like, Oh, we'll just walk across. It'll take like forty minutes or yeah. something like that. And then like her her worst fears. Like it was obviously a peaceful protest, but she yeah, was yeah, like yeah. she was like afraid. No, that shit sucks, dude. Yeah, that's just a massive inc I've been on that bridge when it's been shut down, dude. That shit I can't even. I didn't even know they could shut it down. It's such a busy bridge. I guess I there know. is like ten bridges. But there was also nine thousand people. Nine thousand people on that bridge is nuts. Yeah, it was fucking packed. I guess it's a big ass bridge though, dude. I was in a. Uh, I was in Queens with Gardini, and I was. We were. I was doing his podcast that is never going to come out. And uh, well, I, I don't know. He just told me they're not putting it out. 
They're done. They ended the sh- they ended the podcast. <laughs> what? Yeah, like literally, like I recorded the episode. <laughs> in the episode, it was me, Gardini, Big Chrissy, and uh, our buddy Rowie, and we did two episodes. We did like the Patreon and the regular one, and then like I just found out like a week later, Gardini was like, "Oh yeah, and it's it's never gonna go out, which sucks." And I was like, <laughs> "Why, dude? <laughs> what do you mean it sucks?" <laughs> I don't know. He just said like he, he can't put it out. I think they had like a I don't know something between him and his host, him and Chrissy. Yeah, well they're not doing it anymore. Damn, because he's moving. Yeah, I think he's moving, and I think they just like I don't know. That sounds ominous. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't have any. I don't really know. He just told me that they're done. Did one of them start eating chips in the middle of an episode? Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that dissolving. I know. We had to kick fucking Francis off the show. <laughs> yeah. He's done. The guy had to have his barbecued lace. <laughs> Francis is actually in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. You see him walking on the fucking walking sidewalk or standing on the walking sidewalk. Oh, he did that? What a piece of shit, dude. And he tagged me in it. What Pissed a slovenly off. piece of shit. Got me fucking fired up, I'll tell you that. With his broad shoulders. Broad ass shoulders. And his happy ass disposition. I know. His glad fucking disposition. Francis got banged up on Wednesday. What do you mean? After our show. Oh, you guys went out? Yeah, he had a bunch of Negronis, like 10. That boy loves his Negronis. Yeah, he was like, he texted me the next day and he was like, dude, that was the most fun I've ever had in my, <laughs> my time. <laughs> no, he texted and he was like, dude, that was so fun. Like, he's just, just like a friendly dude. He is so friendly. He's like a golden retriever. He really is yeah. just an affirming, like, yeah. we're having fun. Are we having fun? Yeah, we're having a good time. Did it was a good hit- time, though. Damn, where'd you guys go? The stand? We went to the stand, and then I went to the cellar with him. Had a freaking had a crew. Had oh a crew. no! Great hang. I mean, just the hang of the <laughs> just a hang that you read about. Well, where did you sit? The comics table. No, God, no. Sat in a booth by myself. Where? And I just texted Francis the whole time. Where? At, Said, you... "What are you guys talking about now?" <laughs> Looks so fucking fun over Put there. Put your phone on speaker. <laughs> Flip it face down. <laughs> no, it was pretty busy there. Luckily, so it wasn't. Any goats in there? A couple goats. I saw David Tell. Goat. Ice coffee in hand, it's just fucking posted up. Damn, that's but I a, didn't. That's a picture. I hid. I hid outside for a little bit because I was like, "This is too much." I don't like going there at all. It makes me very uncomfortable. What about that uh, area where like you can go around past the chains and go back up and smoke cigarettes? All of them stand up there and smoke cigarettes. It's like outside, but oh, not the fully stairs. Outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's where David Tell was. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> the fucking stairs. I know. I can't take the stairs like a fat guy. To be a fly on the wall, man. Yeah, brother. Did I tell you about how I had someone on the street the other day come up to me and they were like, do you know where the cellar is? No, never been to it. Never heard of it. You're asking the wrong fucking dude. Dude, that's like asking Michael Jordan where the fucking Madison Square Garden is, bro. <laughs> that was like asking Patrick. I was like, Curry. I know where the stand's at. They got a great, <laughs> great lineup tonight. Hot shows tonight. Was it on Tuesday? <laughs> it actually was on Tuesday. Was it? Yeah. You should I was have on my way to my show. You should have told him. Nah, but- I was like, yeah, go to the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you guys are going to have a fucking blast you there. You like, come with me, man. Yeah. I asked them who they were seeing, and they were like, I have no idea. They're like, we're just going to a show. Yeah, people really don't know. No. They're just trying to show up and see some fucking, get some laughs. Yeah. I am too, though. Truth. Feel that. I had a shit ton of shows this week. Yeah? Yeah, and then I just, yesterday, I just watched ball all day. Patriots here, did you watch it here? Smoked, yeah. Bro, why don't you ever invite me over to watch ball? Because you were in fucking Philly. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you I, were. I didn't go until the nighttime. I watched the Eagles from home. Really? Yeah. Good win by the Eagles. AJ Brown. AJ Brown. I mean, that dude is unbelievable. I swear to God, remember like when we watched it at your place, and I was like, every time I've ever bet on AJ Brown to score, he hasn't scored. He has not since he ha- he hadn't. Uh huh. And then since then, every time I bet on him to score, he scored. He's on a torrid pace yeah, right now. He's the goat. It's like him and Tyreek Hill own the league. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes, fraud. Where were you? Didn't show up. Yeah, I didn't watch that game. Was it sick? Oh, dude, it was awesome. Yeah? Yeah. Were you watching Red Zone? Or what do you watch? What do you I watch watched, I watched uh, the Patriots on the TV until like three minutes left in the fourth. And then they just started getting like, they were taking like cheap shots at the Dolphins players. And I was like, I'm right, turning this shit off. Then I think I put on the, I think I put on the Jets versus the Giants. Do you have every game? What are you, what are you watching on? I watch it on, uh, well, I have Red Zone. I put, I usually put Red Red Zone Zone on my laptop and then put a game on up there. But you know what I don't like is sometimes Red Zone is either ahead or behind. Mm. So like they'll show a touchdown Mm. that I haven't seen yet or they'll show it like 10 minutes after I've seen it. But yeah, Red Zone's good. I like that. But dude, way too many games at the 1 p.m. 
Yeah. Nine There's, games. Well, no teams have buys this week. You yeah. Because you're a fucking ball head. Nine games. Like, I can't. And they're showing me games I don't care about. I don't care about the fucking the Titans. That's why you need to get get deeper into fantasy so you care about all these fucking different. Well, I'm plus, done. My fantasy team's over. But Will Levis is a. Uh, Will Levis from Penn State. Yeah, he's the Titans guy. He's the Titans guy now. He's yeah. just, he's basically a son of a boy dad. Fucking, he's basically on the show with us. Yeah, he may as well be. He's I'm basically us, dude. My fantasy team's. I'm not even kidding. It's over. No, it's not. Kirk Cousins got hurt. Yeah, but you have multiple. Co- oh, Richardson and, and Kirk Richardson Cousins got, got, hurt. got hurt. I have no quarterback. Damn. I had to put in like a wager to get a quarterback, and it's like the backup Vikings quarterback. Do you want me to uh, trade you a quarterback? No. It's not even worth it. I mean, that league's over. No one even fucking pays attention. It seems what? like it's just like me and Smitty. You and Smitty? I beat the. I beat. I'm in third place. I beat Ken Jack. He's in first place this week. Yeah. Well. I fucking snuffed them. I fucking smoked them. I suck. Every single week, I go into like game one on like Thursday, and I'm up. Like this week, I was projected to win by like 20 points. Sass, you're I in still the playoffs. Lost. What are you talking about, bro? I'm. What am I last? No, you're in the playoffs. But I'm last to make it in. Yeah, but I mean, Hank and uh, PFT are so shitty that. It's just a, it's an eight team race for six playoff spots. Yeah, you're you're fucking in it, bro. I don't want to hear that attitude from you. I'm fucking done, man. No, dude. I should have done multiple leagues. You know what's cra- it's crazy that the NFL players can do fantasy, but they can't do uh, gambling. Gambling. Yeah, I don't know. It's a slippery slope. They all have themselves on their fantasy league. It's hilarious. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes you get like, are you going to draft yourself first round and make the rest of your team suck? Like if you're like a fifth round pick guy, you're gonna draft no, yourself no, no. first round. No, you don't. So draft then, what yourself. if someone drafts you before that? Like, what if someone drafts you fourth round? And you're yeah. a fifth round guy. But it, it isn't like the whole reason that you're not allowed to gamble because like then it could affect the game and you could be like, well, I'm not gonna sack this guy because I don't have it in my parlay. But like, what if you're like, what if you're like, oh shit, that's the tight end that I have on my fantasy team. I'm gonna let him catch everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know that probably never happens, and I know it probably wouldn't even happen with betting. Unless but like, putting like if you lose in fantasy dollars. or if you win in fantasy, you get nothing. You don't think they're putting money on that? But per game or for the whole season? For the whole season, dude. Those so guys what do you win? Like those guys probably have like $50,000 buy-ins. No way. No one has a $50,000 buy-in. For you don't think dudes in football. the NFL have big Even buy-ins? Even like uh, Dave and like all those MLB players definitely don't have a $50,000 buy-in. But those, dude, those guys aren't ballers. <laughs> MLB like they have players? a lot of money, but they're not big ballers. No, no, that's like Mike Trout. They are ballers. And so what? So you can bet on other sports? Because like LeBron's throwing his picks out constantly. Is he? You haven't seen that? I think you can now. Le Picks. <laughs> Le Picks James. That's what we're calling him. I think that uh, NBA players, I think there's a new thing where they could talk about gambling this year. That's cool. Good for them. Yeah, it should be. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. They're all going to get out of the league and invent, like start pitching gambling shit anyway. Has it always been like this? Has it always been like, like th- has gambling always been this big? No, it just got legalized recently. You know this. Yeah, but it was legal in like Vegas. Yeah, but it was only legal in Vegas, and you had to go to Vegas to do it. So I think it was big, but at the but same people were time, still betting. So, but like it wasn't like you weren't seeing the fucking ESPN pre pre Sunday show. And well, it was like illegal. Giving out their picks. It was le- illegal. Like they would be like they would be like shady about it. Yeah. They'd be like put it in parentheses. You couldn't talk about it. That makes sense. Yeah, because it's just like everywhere now. It's all you see when you're watching like ESPN. It's just like. And I, it's like some fucking hot girl, and she's like, I'm going to take the under on that game, I think. And then you're like, all right, I'm definitely taking the over. <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just like... They, any- Vegas probably knows you're doing that, dude. Vegas is probably telling her to put out the correct pick. And everyone's like, I know more about football than her. She doesn't fucking know football. It's not even... Like I, was, I, I was making a joke about the, about the girl, but it, uh, there's like a hundred girls. I don't even know who they are. But it was more like... Any of those people, like those fucking dudes in the suits and shit, and I'm like, I don't trust any of you. Yeah, they're also not giving me the picks that I want. They're not giving me fucking Saquon Barkley to put up two in the first. <laughs> like, that's what I want to see. Did you get? Did you put AJ Brown for two touchdowns? No, I had him for one. You got to treat yourself. I had AJ Brown for one. I had Christian McCaffrey for two, and I had Jamar Chase for one, and that hit. Did you hit as good as, as last no, week? No, because I lost all my 1 p.m. games. Fucking idiot. And Saquon didn't score, which really fucked me. I, I felt bad, s- though, because I gave Gardini my picks. Because like I gave him my picks last week, and he was like, holy shit, you're the best. Well, now I know why the fucking pod's not coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're actually not going to associate with you anymore. 
<laughs> exactly, yeah. You don't know shit about football, so I we're going to go ahead and distance ourselves from you. I felt bad because I gave him two picks yesterday, and those were the two that they were the two ones that didn't hit. Did Why'd you only give him two? Why didn't you give him everything? Because I put in a ton of really stupid bets. Got it. Um did uh, was were you pretty funny on his podcast? You could run back any like good stories that you had if you want to. No, I don't remember doing. I don't remember saying much. I was very hot. I remember that. Oh yeah, I was sweating. They had a. It was the last week. You last, last week was week. unseasonably hot. Last week was in the eighties. Oh man, it was fucking hot out this weekend, and I was furious. You were mad. I fucking yeah. loved it. I, I hate it. I want it to be cold, dude. I like this is the weather where I'm like, I, like I was like, All right, I'm gonna walk to my shows. Get outside. I'm fucking drenched in sweat. Had to go into the bathroom and wipe my face down. Really? Yeah. You were that sweaty? That's fucking gross. Dude, we were in like the first quarter of the Sixers game. Joel Embiid is just drenched in sweat. Oh, like yeah. Like so early into the game. It must take so much sweat to cool down like a 300 pound seven foot oh, dude. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> to like change his body Those temperature. Those guys are fucking giants. And yeah, he's in great shape and he just must be fucking. Like, it must be gallons of sweat coming yeah. out of him every single game. I love the videos of those dudes, like, uh, or like the NFL guys when they take their helmets off and there's just steam coming off of their head. It's insane. <laughs> or like Zion Williamson, you know who that dude is? Yeah. Like, how, imagine how much he sweats. Yeah, probably a Imagine how much a defensive tackle or like an offensive tackle sweats during yeah. a game. They like gotta be tank. losing pounds and pounds. It's fucking insane. And that's just you walking to the cellar in fucking November. <laughs> yeah, dude. I sweat like a fucking like psycho. A stuck pig. Dude, the, uh, earlier today at uh, at uh, work at the stool at the stool, Frank the Tank, we were like shooting something with Joey, like this Thanksgiving thing, a cooking thing, and Frank the Tank like leaned over to me and like muttered to me, he's like, "Yeah, and this sales team really can't sell anything." <laughs> <laughs> it's like this sales team is having freaking trouble selling anything that I do. He like muttered to me under his breath. He's like, "I'm having better." Better luck with Jenks selling my stuff for me than the sales team. <laughs> like, yeah, they couldn't sell a Bible to the Pope, Frank. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why, but like Frank recently has just been like fucking killing me. He's so funny right yeah, now. Yeah, dude. I, like, I don't know if it's because I haven't been, like, seeing him as much. No, he's just on one. But it's like, skinny Frank. He's, like, in yeah. great shape. He's, like, uh, that Giga video, Chad Frank. Yeah, he, dude. He, the video that he did with the bear was one of the funniest things I've ever with seen. the mascots? Yeah. No, no, the, the bear. The actual, when he's at the aquarium and they have the grizzly bear. Oh, uh, the, the zoo. zoo. You didn't see it? Uh-uh. Oh, dude. So funny. Him? He's like, he's like, I think he's sitting there. There's like a kid, a little kid and a mom next to him and he's sitting pressed up against the glass and he's talking to the bear. And he's like, what are you guys going to do this year? He's like, <laughs> he's like you got to fire the coach. You got to clean house. Get a new GM. <laughs> Maybe try and get first pick next season. And then he goes, and this is the best part. He goes, and what are you going to do about John, John Morant? <laughs> Talking to the Bears. He, he really? just switched to a whole different league. But still Bears. Oh, still but still Bears. Grizzly. It was yeah. so funny. <laughs> I was in tears, just talking dude. to the whole bear community, yeah. bro. He's so funny, <laughs> bro. We need to have him on here. I know we do. I don't know how that would go. I, I, we we should do. I it mean, anyway. it would go well. You, you and him would get along well. Yeah, Not you like and me him. And him. Yeah, me and, and, and him are always beefing. He would walk into your apartment and fucking oh, start yeah. roasting. Yeah, he would sit in the middle of the couch. It would fucking fold up like a fucking I know. book closing. <laughs> <He> would. <laughs> dude, this seat right here is just I'm engraved in it. I know you sit hard on this bitch. I sit on this thing like, like when I thing. when I when I sleep on this, my back is lower than my legs. <laughs> That's probably good for your hamstrings and your, it probably your circulation. Is. You're like in a hammock. I know. But it's fucking... <laughs> oh, man. Dude, on the bike ride over here, I biked down from the stool. It was fucking awesome. Just like It's a fucking... Isn't it a fast ride? It's super fast. It's like fast, five minutes. And it was in the middle of the day. Yeah. There's nobody on the street. It's like four lanes wide. I'm just like fucking zooming down the street. And some guy uh, was crossing the intersection and... And uh was nowhere close to him. I was like maybe 15 feet away from him yeah. on the bike, went went wide of him. And he was like, don't forget the red light. Oh, like tried to roast bastard. me. Bastard. I took a half second and I just yelled back at him, wah! And then he, <laughs> <laughs> and I knew it got to him. And so he, he like started, uh, he like oh, started yelling back at me. You guys got a fucking brawl. You guys got a bike brawl. 
he started yelling back at me. He wasn't on a bike. He was just walking. Oh, he was walking? And so he started yelling back. He started yelling something back at me and just like way louder. I just yelled again, what? <laughs> <laughs> but by now i was on my bike and i was a full block away from him yeah like and i, I like realized that i was just like baby screaming on a bike <laughs> like i'd entered like a different block where it was like a whole new yeah. group of people that could see me yeah and i was just like wang at oh him. yeah it's like dude, i'm it's a, a fucking a, asshole dude i'm a fucking psychopath that's the good thing about living in new york though no one even i bet no one even turned their head yeah i mean uh, dude you you could be at least you're not one of those dudes that's just like jesus we all need Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Priests, lawyers, teachers, fathers, Jesus. In like a fedora where, yeah. with like a big sign and a like over their shoulder, uh, like public address system, basically. Yeah. They're just fucking have a speaker attached to their body. Yeah. I've been big on the fucking biking, walking, train. I can't do the Ubers anymore, dude. Why? I just can't take it. Cause it's the the average car is going seven miles an it's hour in the so city. It's so slow, dude. And I get car. I like. I don't get car sick normally, and now I'm getting car sick in the Ubers. It's I'm so sick. Phone. I mean, living in Manhattan, bro. I don't think I would ever not walk. Yeah, I don't think but I would. Some places where you kind of like like, or you never not walk. Yeah. But like, like, what do you mean? Like, you would take the train or walk or what? no? I walk or bike everywhere. Yeah. It's so nice to be outside and to walk. Yeah, that's true. It's fucking incredible. There is some places, though, that it's like kind of like a pain in the ass to get there by like train if it's too far. But I guess, yeah, biking wouldn't be the worst. Biking in the winter's tough, though. You got to get those fucking Uber Eats gloves that they have, those big yeah, ass mitts. paper bags. But you bags. only need those for like a fucking week, though. True. I don't know. I think this is going to be a, a long winter. I don't think so. That's what people are saying. People Why? are saying this is going to be the worst one in a while. Did the thing see a shadow? I think it saw, yeah. Mother Nature saw her shadow. <laughs> And she said she's going to drop those titties on the fucking world. Yeah, exactly. Because fucking, dude, Denver got like already got like a shit ton of snow. Denver and upstate New York do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, upstate New York gets fucked every <laughs> Buffalo year. Buffalo probably has yeah. like, it, it's probably over for Buffalo. <laughs> They're going to have a cataclysmic like uh, apocalyptic event up there in Buffalo. And we're just going to be down here chilling with like 70 degree days. Yeah, Buffalo, didn't like 30 people die in Buffalo last year? From a blizzard, I don't. That, that's crazy. To they me. always have nine feet of snow. Yeah, that's it's always wild. nine. I don't even know you could like in this day and age. I feel like we should be really minimizing natural disaster deaths. They're not though. There's They're not. more of them coming. There's oh yeah, big time global warming. Natural Reach. disasters just happen because they're happening in different places. Natural yeah. disasters are starting to explore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're becoming nomadic, and they're trying to search for different places to occur. Big time. Tornadoes. Nine, like, oh, dude, a tornado in New York. Oh, my God. That would be unreal. That would be terrifying. I would. I I used to have a big fear of tornadoes. Same. Have you ever seen, uh, like, the fingers of a tornado touch down? No. I've seen, like, what, what, we've gotten, like, tornado warnings and shit. My cousins, when they lived in Illinois, they would get tornado warnings constantly. Dude, I remember being a kid at my uncle's in uh, Minnesota, and we he was at an apartment building, and five I, I saw five tornadoes, like the fucking hand of God, <laughs> like the fingers of God, like off in the distance. It was the scariest thing I've ever fucking seen in my life. Yeah, multiple Because they could just once. level buildings. Yeah, but do they? You see, you ever see a building like, after? I, I think a- everyone thinks of, like, I think, it, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's just me. I feel like my fear of tornadoes comes back from, like, Wizards, Wizard of Oz. And I feel like that's going to happen to me. Like my I'm house get sucked into color yeah, TV. Yeah, my whole entire apartment all of a sudden is going to start spinning, and I'm be like looking out the window, being like, "Oh no!" <laughs> it was scary as a kid, <laughs> but like in like in that movie, it would be like the fucking Uber Eats lady who or Uber Eats guy just pulled up, like he would be fine, but my apartment would be like thirty <laughs> yeah. feet off the ground, just spinning around completely. Yeah, structurally, it would be fine, <laughs> yeah. but it would get twisted off of its axis like the head of a Lego. Yeah. It would yeah. just get popped off and just be completely intact, yeah. not fucking leveled. Like <laughs> when tornadoes come through houses, it's like you every two by four is dis combobulated yeah. from the rest of the house like everything is completely ripped apart and they used to say there used to be that thing where they would be like you know where the safest play of safest place of the tornado is the eye like the <laughs> yeah. center of the tornado it's like that no Staying in the middle you of get it. through the barrier to get to there like it's <laughs> <laughs> imagine dude that like it, it, it up until like probably like the last five years 
I, if there was a tornado like right there, my first thought would probably be like, I got to get to the center of this bitch. I got to get to the eye. <laughs> I got to run. I got to run straight through this thing and get to the middle. Like what? Like getting in the like a revolving door. Like, oh yeah. Just, just jumping yeah. in like when the time was right. Like you're getting in a double dutch. Like whoosh, real quick <laughs> through the fucking side of the tornado to be in the eye, and just shuffling alongside with it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get to that eye. <laughs> it just can't be the safest place. There's no way. Well, you you cannot get to it. How do you no, get to it? No, there's no way to get to or it. Or people will be like, it's the like the calm of the eye of the storm. Like you come out of the storm cellar and you look up and it's like completely calm. Yeah. But you're actually in the eye of the storm. How do you get into the middle of the storm? How big is the eye? I don't know. Like I, I, I have a very warped idea of what tornadoes are because I've never really seen one in person. Like I always imagine that the eye of a tornado is like the size of my finger. Like you, you, like when I used to like when I used to draw tornadoes, the bottom of it would be a like a, a pinprick, yeah, a tiny little dot, and then it gets wider. Bro, they were so fun to draw. Oh, like with, yeah. or like with the Tasmanian devil coming out of it yeah. or some shit like when that. When you really learned how to draw them, though, because I used to do them where I would just go like that, all the way down. Yeah, and then it would just kind of just look like an upside be a triangle. down triangle, right? But then I learned how to do it with the circle. Oh, the circles on top of one another. Yeah. It's like Sonic's rings. That one, that, that one's satisfying to draw. Incredible, incredible to doodle. People make livings out of doodling, dude. Yeah, big time. I, I, I don't mind a doodle at all, dude. I love, I mean, I used to be, that's all I used to do in school was just doodle constantly. I would just write my name fast. What were your, what was your best drawing? Uh, a cube, a helicopter, or a tornado. I was pretty nice at shoes. Shoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, got, I could do Bart Simpson for a while, too. The whole his whole body just the face because uh they didn't it's they used like, to say mg like the mac groaning for the ears yeah yeah or that was homer easy. simpson's like that oh no homer i could do homer because homer it's literally just and then you're done <laughs> yeah yeah so i could do that for, for the listener he just drew homer simpson oh yeah i assumed everyone was watching but in reality, I always forget that most people don't watch; they listen. It's eighty percent, and we've been doing you guys a disservice, and we're sorry about that. Yeah, but not anymore. Hopefully. Now the shit. There's a good chance that we go back and listen back, and around like the thirty minute mark, it just fucking tanked. <laughs> yeah, we actually died, <laughs> and we're like hovering above our bodies. Yeah. A tornado struck, and we were ripped <laughs> limb from limb. How I do wonder we know to talk about tornadoes. <laughs> I wonder what we do with this. Like, I wonder if we have to fucking take this thing down and edit it or if we can just put this bitch right up. It'd be fire if we could put it up. I mean, we'll be able to put it up. It's recording on the Zoom, on the PodTrack P4, and then the Sony 7.3. Nah, but once... And the, the Cam Link. Just a little bit of Cam Lingo. Just a little bit of Cam Link. Yeah, we're just gonna fucking... Dude, order. that was honestly a great feeling. Going to Best Buy and they actually had everything I needed. Did That's you ask the guy? Happened. Did you ask one of their experts? No. You just went around and found it yourself? I went around and found it myself. That's man, Bro, you're a hunter-gatherer. Yeah, it felt good. You're a forager. Yeah, and then I went to fucking uh, Guitar City, or Guitar Center. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which I, I don't know. That place is a weird vibe. It's a lot of dudes who are clearly on, like, Oxycontin. Like As white, most great white, guitarists are. Yeah, like white Oxycontin dudes, and they're like... Yeah, I'm about to put out my first album soon. And they're like just buying like a, a million dollars worth of equipment. Oh, the people who are shopping. Yeah. What about the people that are working there? No, all of them are autistic. <laughs> Literally every single person that works there. They're like pod track four rolling around my head back right. That's where you're going to want to find it. <laughs> I show up just furious and I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to get the, do you guys have a pod track P4? me scanning <laughs> that's literally what it's like and then like mental the, rolodex <laughs> engaging <yeah. laughs> found it it's like dude you would expect the the best buy people to be more autistic the dudes at guitar center blow them out of the water no the best buy dudes are like the best black buy dudes, dudes who are like yeah, uh, the best like buy studio dudes, engineers yeah. they're all just like a drewski character <laughs> Just the dude post up against the wall, just swinging the fucking lanyard around his hand. 100%. He's like, what do you want? I'm like, hi, could you unlock the cam link 4K for me? Bruh, do you want this one or should I get it? Because like they, they're always in the middle. Can I help you, sir? I caught, I, caught, <laughs> I caught one of my boys working at Best Buy one time. <laughs> it's always just the meanest. Can I help you? He, but I caught my boy working at Best Buy, and he was like, he was like, "What do you mean you caught him?" He he like he never didn't told want anyone. me knowing. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. 
a studio engineer, my boy G's, <laughs> and, and we we called him working at Best Buy because you're in the rap game. No one wants to say what your real job oh, is. Yeah. He like made beats. He was a studio engineer, and we called him at Best Buy, and he was like like annoyed at us and like sheepish about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. But I was like, so can you help us though? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and they you- all. They all make you check out with them because they get like a discount or some shit. Yeah, they have to get some. Or they get a fucking commission. Yeah. You think they get commission over there? I think they do. I think they get a small commission. But I got fucking. Oh man, they got. They tried to get me on that credit card so bad. I had to they flash have a the credit MX. card. I had to flash the MX Platinum. I was like, dude, what do you think? You think I want the Best Buy credit card? Come on, man. Look at this thing. <laughs> also, I need shocking. to use this to get my. Absolutely shocking that Best Buy is still in business. That you can like still go to a store in the city and be like, oh, I need a fucking adapter. It has to and keep they have Bezos it. up at night. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. But it was packed. Dude. It was just like, everyone's people there. People need it. People, I mean, it's fun to go in there and look at all the TVs. It is. It's and fun to be like, oh, what's the difference between these TVs? Yeah. And streaming is huge now. So it's a bunch of, there was a dude in there just walking around with like a samurai sword and a camera guy. And he's like, I need to get a fucking hard drive or some shit. <laughs> and it's like, that sucks that I'm trying to do the same thing that he's doing because <laughs> you'll never reach the oh like, yeah now that guy did you see like no it's crazy this is your samurai sword brother that's my wand i know you want to see the real i really do these are the reels that i care about fuck instagram <laughs> these are the real reels i might get i might get flamed for this <laughs> i might get flamed for this because this is a, i believe the camera i believe this is a starter this is the starter orvis rod i don't know if it's going to go into focus but Slow yeah, by, by where our heads were in the middle here, just so Qu- people can see it. Quick six yeah. weight. <laughs> six weight. This is a three piece rod. Flame hey, his ass. Hey, ready? You got to hear this. this is it going to be satisfying? That's so nice. Oh, yeah. That tickles, my, it tickles my ears just right. Oh, yeah. my God. That's fucking nice. I think that really just loosened up some earwax that was just fucking oh, I'm sure. jingling around in there. Yeah, that's my that's my wand. People always get surprised. They're like, dude, how do you travel with a fishing rod, bro? And this is what I'm talking about when I say I don't want to travel with it. It looks like a fucking rifle. No, it looks like a fucking dick in a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. It looks like I'm traveling with a monster dildo. Yeah, it looks like, but with like, a, that has a sack. Yeah. It has a pouch for its sack. Yeah. It looks like this is like what, like one of those fucking... Like like a like a fucking I don't know what's the correct word to use here. You're talking dildos. I'm talking dildos, but like what are the dudes that do the strap ons? Not a, not a transgender stud. A stud. No studs a, are like a woman will work like a drag work. like a drag show. It looks like I'm like going on the road as a drag artist, and I'm like, yeah, this is my piece. This is my fucking cock. But it does look like a gun, <laughs> dude. That would be so funny walking around with this, and it's just your fucking dildo in here. It is. It is. Uh, or having a rifle case that has dild like a long oh, ass yeah. dildo in it. Yeah, it does look like it, it. It just looks suspicious. It's not something that's fun to carry around the no. airport, this especially is in New York. Yeah, in New York, you walk around with it, and people are like, they're they're like holding their kids back. They're like, get let him go first. Right. They don't care about the dude in like a yeah. khaki, like full outfit, screaming on his bicycle no, going down God, the street. No. They don't care about like the guy pushing a cart and like singing at full voice to himself, going like the opposite way against no. traffic. They see a dude like me. Yeah, there's with, like, they see ill-fitting like, size closed and clothes and a fucking massive tube on me. A twenty-something white year old, yeah, or white twenty-something year old with a fucking some sunglasses on. When I was going to Iceland, the Uber driver he pulled it out of the back of his car and he was like, "Be careful," and laughed. <laughs> and then, uh, and then you go to like somewhere like carry out the yeah. mission, comrade. <laughs> You know what to do. The blind eagle flies at night. (laughs) Allah Akbar. (laughs) And then then you go to fucking uh, like Portland and you're walking with the rod. Everyone's like, catch a fucking big one, bro. Make sure you get a slob when you're here. (laughs) They call him a fat slob. Yeah, you got to get a a slob. I didn't catch any slobs, but what can you do? Slob, Slob on my fucking knob like corn on the cob, bro. Oh, fuck. We didn't do any ads. Well, it's time to... Oh, we all, we we have one for YouTube and one for... We have two. It doesn't matter. We'll just do them after because this is not even going to go live. No? So someone's going to have to edit them in? Should I'll we do one right now? In. It'll be easy. Should we do the second one right now? Um, We could, yeah. Let's talk about pie wine for a second. Pie wine. Yo, pie wine is actually incredible. Yeah. Pie wine is the perfect wine to go with pizza, and it is just 
delicious. It's slightly sweet, slightly sparkling, and the first official drink of pizza? Yeah. You heard that right. Pizza. Pizza. (laughs) Pie wine. Unlike canned seltzers, each can of pie wine equals two glasses of wine with the alcohol percentage of 10.5 to 13.5%. She. <laughs> so pizza becomes so pizza becomes pizza party very quickly. They know? have a white wine. Very quick. It's that's so good. Like it's it's nice to go without pizza. You can do it whenever, but when it's with pizza, it truly unlocks all these flavors. White's my favorite. Or they have two types of white and then the red is also just robust. I smooth, love me the red. Drinkable. Love the red. Really nice. This is interesting. It says uh, it was just features on Shark Tank where Mark Cuban, Mr. Wonderful, a.k.a. friend of the pod, loved the product. The sharks know what is up and now you do too. Pie wine is pizza's new side new side piece. Ooh, get a slice of that. Get a slice of that. Have, have a freaking slice of that. Get a big old slice of that. Turn that pizza into a pizza party real quick. Started by two best friends and stoolies. Pie wine elevates your slice and turns pizza night into the greatest night of the week. Dude, I just had some pie wine uh, with, at a shoot that we did at Francis's, and it was insane. It was good? Yeah. You're a big wine guy, too. I'm a big pizza guy, too. I tried to go to uh, Lucalia this weekend. Yeah? And they were closed, so I had to go to Giuseppina's, which is the guy who's the brother of the guy at Lucali. Mm. And he has those same exact recipe, same calzone, same pizza. Hey, let me get a calzone. Same dessert pie. It was fucking incredible. Dude, the calzones that they have at the really nice pizza places, underrated menu item, sometimes better than the pizza. A lot of times better than the pizza. Pie wine, pizza's new side piece. Visit pinewine.com. Dude, pizza is fucking big in New York. Last night, it was <laughs> pouring out. Pouring out. And I'm like Ubering to go to a spot, and there's just a line of people outside of Joe's Pizza just waiting in the rain. And I'm like, guys, it's not that good. Is Joe's the place they went on Friends? Ooh, it might have been. Well, Bruh. Don't tell me, bro. I can't I be slipping up. Perry. I can't be slipping up live like this. Yeah, that's fucking. <laughs> bro just got caught lacking badly. I know. First, he didn't know Schwimmer was Jewish. Now mm-hmm. you forgot about. I had an idea. Joe's and Matthew Perry. You're gonna forget that fucking Lisa Kudrow played Phoebe's next. Is she alive? Oh, and thriving. Yeah, she's the one that everyone said looks the best. Like she looks normal. I think they all look. I have Jennifer Aniston. Looks Jennifer Aniston looks, looks normal. And what's the other one's name? Courtney, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox. Yeah, she. she she got a lot of work done. Which is great if that's what you're into. Yeah, true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she looks fucking awesome if you if you like what how she looks. Yeah. If you're into that that type of look that she had. Truth. Yeah. I've uh I've nothing against friends. I do feel like though with some people with Taylor Swift the, so many people are liking Taylor Swift that I th- I think some people are just liking her cuz they're scared. Yeah, I don't know. I I was never a big like I hate friends person. Like, I know there's a lot of people out there who, like, are, like, really anti-friends. I was never like that. No, you were like that. We actually had this conversation on the Yak because Mm -hmm. I said I used to watch a show when I was little and I thought it was funny. And then you were like, name one funny thing that happened. And then I remember I said a funny episode and you went, that's really funny. (laughs) Yeah, so Matthew Perry, haunt him because you don't believe in ghosts either, which is a bad idea because this place is <laughs> fucking haunted. How have, How's that manifested itself? This apartment? Yeah. In every way imaginable. Chairs sliding across the floor? Dude, shit just flying around. <laughs> what are the odds? That was them, dude. That was literally a message from Matthew Perry. As soon as I said that, something just fell off of me. That was fucking insane. I told you, dude. I hope, that was, I hope that was audible. What, I what swear fell? to God, I did not do that myself. No, it was just the case felt slid off of me. But still, though, weird timing. I told you, dude, this place is haunted. I'll be sit- I'll be sitting here and I'll be laying down like this. And it, for those who don't know, who've never been to my apartment before, the uh... <laughs> I thought that was funny. For those for those who've never been to my apartment, um, that must be what it's like doing like a like a shitty podcast. <laughs> What do you mean? Because like the only people that are listening are like your friends. Oh uh, yeah, you're literally <laughs> talking to your your family members who are paying for everything. <laughs> Those who don't know, who haven't been over here. There's a big hallway right here. This and is it's the a last time you guys hallway. were here. It's a very spooky hallway. Very, very, very thin walls and very high. And I'll be sitting here, and you can just tell like someone's watching me from down there. Yeah, 
So it now does, I keep, and I keep there's the kitchen. so many doorways too. I keep the kitchen light on. Yeah, you have to. The it's kitchen. too spooky otherwise. You can't even really call that thing a kitchen. Yeah. No one told you life was going to be this way. No. Your love life's DOA. True that. We should stop by after this and go pay our respects. A lot of people were out there. Where did you see him? I saw Gaz's story. I saw Gaz's story too. Gaz, I guess, lives across from there and likes to shame the people that just loved Matthew Perry. Yeah, Gaz and me are neighbors. So I guess I can tell you how things are going for him. Yikes. <laughs> Actually, no. I walked down your block, dude. That Someone was fitting. You could see into their like brownstone style house and someone was fitting a like eight foot framed gold 100 percent p- photo yeah, or the not photo like a painting yeah. yeah you definitely are which i'm happy with like this is a i love this apartment poorest like, person probably and definitely worst decor oh 100 <laughs> and it's not close there's really no decor only it's thing on bad. the wall are like streaks <laughs> there's nothing on the walls i gotta put yeah, there's them like up. streaks and stains yeah but it's just like dude i had one of my buddies came over here and he was like he's like man this is such a nice apartment it's a chain that you like just treat it like shit and I was like, I don't think I treat it like shit. I think it's just I don't have anything up on the walls. No, nah, no. Nah. But it's like I don't know. What if it's, I resign? It's like whatever. You're like a you're a 22 year old bachelor. It's like yeah, it is what, what it am I is. Gonna like, do? What, I'm not going to be fucking getting like a carpet and shit. I'm not. Or you could just be like a, a plant guy. Yeah, I thought about getting some plants for there. It sucks because I sealed that door shut, so I can't open it anymore. Yeah, but if you became a plant guy, <laughs> you'd have to have the worst dick imaginable. You know plant guys. You go over to a plant guy's house, you know you're about to get some awful dick. Oh, 100%. Have you ever seen those memes that say that? Yeah. You walk into a house like this, you know you're about to get the worst dick possible. There's there's a bunch of those with the Saturdays are for the boys flag. Really? Yeah. (laughs) Dude, my fucking, my wife, uh, when I first, I, I found, I was going through our mugs yeah. At the house. And when I first started uh, working at Barstool, she went to a ceramics class and uh, she painted me a Saturdays are for the boys mug. That's hilarious. Well, that was probably <laughs> when Saturdays are for the boys was like the it biggest was, ever been. It was really popular yeah. and really popping, but it was just so funny that she was like, he'll like this. This yeah. is his personality now. This is That's what so he's funny. into. <laughs> she painted over like the lyrics to fucking lose yourself or something. <laughs> fucking was like, no, he has a new personality now. Saturdays are for the boys. That's hilarious. But a, a girl comes into a place like this, she knows she's about to get the dick of a lifetime. Yeah, maybe. When a girl pulls into a place and there's just a stack of fucking laundry on the bed, completely <laughs> unwashed and unfolded, she knows she's about to get her back bent out of shape. There's literally just like loose articles of clothing. There's a tie, a dress shirt, a Patriot sweatshirt, and a blanket. A tie. And a jacket. God damn. A sweater. What the fuck is that sweater doing? The Patriot sweater? No, this sweater. That's, that's a blanket. a blanket. Oh, a blanket. <laughs> You can't even tell what it is. If yeah. I was a mouse, I would be gunning for this area. This little pile right there has mouse home written all over See, it. See, I used to think that was where they were, but it turns out they're in the kitchen. I wonder why. But I try and keep it pretty clean. Like, I got I got my factors coming today. They're probably actually here right now. Did you see the box downstairs? No, I didn't. Bastards. But I saw a perfect place for a big-ass couch. Clip is doing crazy. Bro, twist my arm. Clip is fucking sick, dude. I thought it was a I thought it was a funny joke, and I think it is a funny joke. But it's like every time I post something, the barstool people love to just assume that I'm just stealing jokes from everybody. It's pretty crazy, because I'm like, dude, what do you think? Like, do you, like I did that. I've been doing that joke for like six months. It's like, do you think like, like you think I'm just like doing it, being like, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna this is gonna kill this bit that I just stole. Yeah, like I'm not fucking like I don't know. Everything's been done. You can take any joke and be like, that's well, this person had a joke about that. There's nothing new under the sun, brother. No. But what can you do? I yeah, liked it. Yeah, I, I thought it was very funny. I don't think you can satisfy people by put like with a, with every joke you put online. No. And it's also just such a minority of people, but I still just that's all I think about. Yeah. And then I and then I sit Stop there Jewish and I'm like, hate, bro. <laughs> Speaking of minorities. And I'm like, I'm the worst. <laughs> I hate myself. You delete all your social media. I almost deleted the clip, but then I was like, ah, I'm just gonna ride this one out. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. People don't actually, like, half of them wouldn't even have the balls. They're just jealous. <laughs> that's, totally. That's, that's what your what mom it is. used to tell yeah. you. Yeah, they're just jealous of me. That's what it is. 
<laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, your mom used to tell you that. I mean, not your mom. Everybody's mom used to tell them that, like, the kids are just bullying you because they're jealous. That used to be, like, the number one. It, even, like, in this, like, when, like, it, everyone's like, well, the people that are really mean to you, they're just jealous of you. It's like, no, I think they just hate you. Yeah, they just think you're, like, deeply unfunny. Yeah, I think they just it, think like, I suck. It troubles them to such a point where they have to let you know. Like, they have to I don't go think out any of their of them way. are jealous. Yeah. They're all posting the, all their profile pictures. They're, like, them with their fucking four kids and their wife. <laughs> I don't think they're looking at me being like, I want to live in a tiny apartment in New York. I want to have mousetraps fucking dangling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want my paper. living room to have 15 different mousetraps. I want to have boxes of eye lotion fucking stacked <laughs> underneath the TV. What the fuck is that eye lotion? It's not eye lotion. It's lid scrub, bro. It's for when you get styes. What the fuck is the difference? It's for styes. Wait, yo. No, you don't get styes on the top of your eyelid. We just said lid scrub. What the fuck? Yeah, you get them. You get them like the right lid, at the bot, like right at the end of your lid. I got some some trouble on my lid. I got trouble on my mind. I do have this. This is good for styes. Oh, I don't you. have styes a lot. I had a sty once and I had to get rid of it. And uh, this thing, I bought this at CVS. It's fun to play with. That's why I have it out. But it's a little warm compress. You put it in the microphone for like. A minute stays warm for like thirty minutes, and then you. Bro, just... your dumbass doesn't even realize you just said you put it in the microphone. Did not I say the microwave. that? <laughs> this guy's been thinking about stand-up pod comedy. Life. Pod life. Pod life. No, man. I've been thinking about this goddamn podcast. Yeah. Do you like the mic covers? The microwave covers. The mic covers. Yeah, I was just joking. I got I got more too. I got a red one and a green one and a gray one. I, th- I might throw the gray one out though. We don't need that energy in here. Yeah, I hate fucking terrible energy. I, nothing pisses me off more than just some bad fucking energy. A gray microphone covers like having an AK-47 sitting in the corner. Straight up. And that honestly, was the I was gonna make too. <laughs> bro, you basically have a stack of AK-47s over there with all those little, the tiny notebooks that you have. <laughs> those oh, yeah, are a comics AK-40. That's a comics arsenal bro, right that's there. That's my fucking weapon. You know that he's and he's stacked up right now. I bring my weapons out and I kill on the stage. <laughs> he dares you like to an, like the true artist that I am. He goes up with like a Batman belt with five different <laughs> notebooks, <laughs> a utility belt full of five different marble notebooks that he can whip out at any time. <laughs> he knows where each one of them is. He can he can open them up blindfolded, go to any page, tell any joke. That's this true. is my rifle. This is my gun. <laughs> they didn't really do any of that shit in World War II. They didn't have any of those like jingles. They must have had some jingles. They had some. They had some for like, but it was never. It, there was never the fucking like. This is my rifle. This is my gun. Oh, they probably had that. You know, back what my then. favorite one is. I left my home. I haven't heard that one. To join the army. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Hoorah! Your mama was gone when you left. You're right. Your mama was gone when you left. <laughs> I don't know, that, right. one. I don't know <laughs> that one. Bro, these are fire. I gotta get in cadences. on cadences. You don't know your cadences? No, I gotta get in on my fucking on my military calls, and I got I need to learn. I've been trying to pick up some old sailor lingo. Like what? I just know the one from Jaws where he goes, "Here's to swimming with bow legged women." <laughs> I love that. And like the lighthouse. You ever seen the lighthouse when they're singing those songs? Uh, I have. I've never. I want to get shit faced at a bar and be singing those songs. It looks like the most fun time ever. Bro, invite me out to get shit faced. I feel like you're getting shit faced with Francis. You're getting. Well, I was getting shit faced with Francis because we were had a show together. Bro. Well, you and I have a show together right now. You know what? I actually do have a show at the stand coming up. When? Uh, I think it's like Wednesday. It's like a Wednesday sometime soon. If it's next Wednesday, I'm down to go. I think it's next Wednesday. No, it would be in oh, two wait, Wednesdays. Next, yeah, because next Wednesday is the Barstool basketball thing, correct? No idea. Do we have to do that? Uh, I think it's Yak Basketball. But we're not even on the logo anymore. I know. <laughs> they took us off the logo. Did you see that? I saw that. I thought that we were I thought that we were boys for life. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's how they made it seem. They, I wish they like faded us off like fucking... Like every episode, it like was Paul a little... Like Paul Walker. Yeah, yeah. Every episode, it was a little, it's little more transparent. It's been a Yeah, we're disappearing like the, the family and back to the future. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, there's a so many shows and movie plots that are based on like going back in time and the person, be like they turn around and they're like missing an arm. They're like, I'm... D- you gotta go back in time, like hot tub time machine. That shit was equally as scary to me as The Tornadoes. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Yeah. I actually think that happens in Wizards of Waverly Place. Don't, I mean, I was about to say don't dox yourself, but that was the old Addy. Yeah, I don't live there anymore. I used to live right there. I used to live right on, right on Waverly. And then yeah. I remember Selena Gomez posted a picture right outside my apartment. 
And then you had to move. Yeah. It got too hot. It got way too hot. Block was popping. You know who they say? Actually, I probably shouldn't say that. Taylor Swift. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Taylor Swift. But uh, actually, I don't really give a fuck. They say that uh, someone told me that Emma, Emma Ratajkowski lives on this block. Emily Ratajkowski? Emrata. Emma or em- Emily? What's her name? Emily. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Fuck you. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I respect Sorry, her. I'm not up to my fuck. I'm, I don't have fucking names down of the fucking supermodels. Names down? What are you talking I'm about? I'm not a fucking perv like There's you. fucking yeah. Emily Ratajkowski it's shaped. Amrata. There's Not Emily Rata. <laughs> no, dude. There's exactly. There's loads that are shaped like her body right on this fucking couch, dude. You've been jacking off to her stencil. I know Sometimes you have. I just stand on that little balcony and I just go, Emma. <laughs> but she doesn't know who you're talking about. Where are you? She probably thinks that she was hoping that you would say Emily, but she is it Emily or Emma? Emily Radikowski. It's Emily. Oh, okay. Emily. <laughs> See, that sounds good. Where are you? I remember seeing her. No. She used to like date a guy that everyone's like, he's ugly. Eric Andre. No, a different guy. Eric Andre is not ugly. He's fucking jacked now. I mean, he could be ugly and jacked. No, it's literally impossible. Are you serious? Yes. I'm about to try and get jacked then. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe away my ugly. White boy. Bro, I'm my oomph going through his ugly phase. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's bad, bro. I'm joking. But uh I just didn't hear what you said. Yeah. But it, but that I am going through a bad ugly phase. No, not at all, bro. It's fucking no, dude, I I I'd rather I'd rather be at, at peace with it. Then fucking oh, try I'm at peace with it for sure. Trying to deny my ugly phase. I'm at peace with myself right now. Nothing worse than thinking you're in a hot phase when you're in an ugly phase. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not in a hot phase. It happens. To, I, I see it happening to to women folk all the time. Oh yeah, they think they're in a hot. As soon as they era. turn fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're fucking hot right now, but you're actually ugly as fuck. And awkward. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> oh, man. I love making fucking pedophile jokes. I wasn't, even, I wasn't going pedophile. Dude. Oh, I was. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, I think you honestly, what, what's the rule? Like your age, half your age plus eight. So I think you're actually good. Oh, no, no, you're not. Yeah, not according to the law. Half your age plus eight. That's like your age. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work at all. Half your age plus eight is what it's supposed to be. I think it's more of, that's probably that's probably like a pedophile's rule or like dudes who are like, don't want to be considered pedophiles anymore. Yeah. Half your age plus eight. So like a 40-year-old will get date a 28-year-old would be the youngest he could go. Interesting. So for you as a 22-year-old, half your age would be 11 plus eight 19. would be 19. Interesting. I'll think about that. <laughs> That right. was such a perverted thing that people came up it with. It is really perverted. It's funny. Yeah. Um, there are some weird things out there that you just notice and you're like, oh, that's weird. The rule of thumb? Yeah. You know what the rule of thumb is? Like, you can't beat your wife with a, a stick that's wider than your thumb. And now we just say, like, oh, I just keep that as a rule of thumb. No, I didn't. But it's know really that. about domestic abuse. That's fucked. That's crazy that that used to be like what people would do. Yeah. Just go or home and get to smack him. They'd wear shirts that said wife, uh, they'd wear shirts that were called wife beaters. Yeah, wife beaters is hilarious. All right. All right. I guess we'll end on that. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday. And uh, we'll try and get it started a little bit early on Wednesday, right? Yeah. We'll get just it started to, a little just early to, to so kind of no try technical and problems. bake in. If there are technical problems, hopefully we'll be starting right at our normal 3 o'clock. And if there's not any technical problems, tune in and check us out early. Yes. And also the good news is that this was, if this comes out well... That means that Wednesday will be the same quality because this was recorded on a private live stream. But also, direct, we uh, it took us a second to get us to get up and running. Oh, it took so, like over an hour. Well, so we want to make sure that we're starting over an hour early so we can be on yes. time for a three o'clock stream. We're not trying to be an hour late for the stream. Sounds good, dude. We could also like read the chat with this. I wonder if we can fool around. We could do some cool shit. We can like put stuff on this because this thing just you can just move this bitch. Yo, yeah. what? Oh, I guess that would have been easier. I could have just moved me a little bit to there, so then I could have sat like this. Damn. You live, you learn. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>